we are going to start our important event of the India Rivers Week, which is Bhagirathi Prayas Samman. Uh, it's a matter of immense happiness for all of us that we are celebrating the hard work being done by the organizations and individuals in the field of river conservation. The Bhagirath Prayas Samman is dedicated to such organizations and individuals. I propose to begin the proceedings of this important event of the India Rivers Week, which is being jointly organized by Sandrup, Intech, Toxic Links, WWF India, and Peace Institute. On the dais, I would like to request uh, Sri Manu Bhatnagarji to please kindly come here and sit. Sri Manu Bhatnagarji, please, sir. I now request Dr. Sejal Vora to please come and sit at the dais. Uh, Shri Anupam Mishra ji. Uh, Honorable Justice Shri Madan Lokhur ji. And Mr. Suresh Babu. Thank you. Uh, I would now like to request Sri Manu Bhatnagarji to give the welcome address. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, friends, on behalf of the organizing committee of the India Rivers Week 2014, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this prime event of the week. And this is the event which is the award ceremony for the Bhagirath Prayas Samman. Through these awards for the very first time in India, we would be recognizing and honoring some very doughty river warriors who have fought valiantly for protecting our rivers and thus served society at large. Very aptly, therefore, we have amongst us, as the guest of honor, Sri Anupam Mishra ji, advocate of, <laughs> advocate of traditional water wisdom. Anupam ji is a Gandhian, an awardee of the Indra Gandhi Paryavaran Puruskar, a founder of the Gandhi Peace Foundation, as well as the Center for Environment and Food Security. He is also the editor of the foundation's magazine, Gandhi Mag. His seminal works in very simple language have inspired a generation of activists to revive India's traditional water systems. Anupamji's towering stature lends an aura of humanity, humility, and wisdom to this event. Our chief guest, Honorable Justice Sri Madan Lokur, has served with distinction as the chief justice in the high courts of Delhi, Guwahati, and Andhra Pradesh. He has earlier held the position of additional Solicitor General of India and is now a Justice of the Supreme Court. Sir, your fair, firm, and forthright stands on several occasions have elevated and sustained our confidence in the judiciary. And your presence lends an added distinction and symbolism to this event. We look forward to your illuminating addresses from both of you on this occasion. We also welcome the members of the award jury who have tirelessly deliberated to select the most deserving awardees. Their own stature and accomplishments lend an added luster to these awards. Amongst us, we have truly deserving award winners who have come through a rigorous process and who will be known to us in a short while. And we welcome them and congratulate them in, adv in advance. To the distinguished members of the audience, your presence at this August function inspires us with hope and that the message of these awards will resonate on a larger plane in the days to come. So once again, on behalf of the organizing committee, I welcome you and thank you for your presence over here. I would now request Dr. Sejal Vora, Director Program, WWF India, to give address.
Thank you. Good evening, everyone. It's, uh, I think it's time after three days of really hard work to sit down a little bit, take a deep breath, relax, and celebrate something. So I think this evening we're here to celebrate, to actually recognize, acknowledge, and appreciate, and really be inspired by the work that the awardees have done. So uh, I'm going to apologize because I have to read some of this. I was asked to describe the process of how uh, this whole selection was done and what the process of this award function was, uh, since I was not a part of it. And I asked uh, why I should be the person doing this. And I was told it needs to be somebody neutral. And uh, I am neutral, but because of that, I'm going to have to read some stuff. So with apologies. First of all, I think the first question I asked was, what makes these awards different? Uh, why are they different? You know, so many awards are given out in our country all the time. There's some award function or the other. And I think there's two or three things that make these awards completely different. One is rivers. Who gives awards for rivers? I don't recall. I can't remember the last time I went to an award function that was around rivers or heard about one. So I think that's one a very important factor. The other, and it's in the name of the award, is about prayas. It's not about achieving, succeeding, counting, um, you know, saying I did this or I did that. It's about the journey. And I think what makes these awards special is that they recognize people who have been on a journey, sometimes a very long journey, sometimes a thankless journey, sometimes a journey that seems to have no end. And I think that has to be appreciated. I think that is inspirational. Uh, you know, that should inspire many of us that it's not about achieving something, reaching an end, reaching a target. It's about showing the way. And I think what these awards do is they show the way and they recognize people who have shown us the way and who will continue to show us the way because it's going to be a long battle. Uh, so I think that is what makes, for me at least, these awards different, is that they recognize the prayas, they recognize the journey, and they recognize the process of getting somewhere, or maybe not getting somewhere, but inspiring others. The formal objectives of this award, I will read them out now, um, was to recognize outstanding sustained efforts and contributions, tapasya was the word also used, of river warriors and champions towards protection and conservation of rivers, and to also identify and recognize grassroots initiatives of implementation. So it's not just about saying we tried to do this and that, but it's also about where real difference has been made on the ground. So these awards are around recognizing both of those things. There was a committee, as many of you know, that was set up for organizing this Rivers Week. And this was the National Advisory Committee made up of 25 people. Um, and these 25 members of the committee suggested nominations for the award. Um, and then there was a screening process. There's the obvious caveats that self-nominations are not allowed. Uh, people who give nominations can't screen them. Uh, I don't think I need to go into those details because those are process issues which any uh, good process will follow. Uh, there were two categories, individuals and organizations, both of which are being recognized today. Um, the awards were for a number of areas, and I think it's hard to enumerate because there are so many ways in which people can be a river warrior. Uh, you know, you can go to court, you can run a campaign, you can build awareness, you can do things on the ground, you can mobilize people, uh, you can take collective action. There are so many, many different ways. So all of these different ways of you know, reaching out and all of these different ways of conserving rivers have been taken into account during the, the selection of the award process. Um, there's a long list of criteria, which I'm not going to read. Uh, but basically, I think the two or three things that, that uh, were included, one is that scale, this, these awards are scale neutral. Uh, so whether it's something on a very small stretch of river, whether it's an entire basin, whether it's a watershed, all of that was considered. So there was no criteria which said it has to be a big thing. It could have been a small achievement in a small area. So they're scale neutral. Um, and also there was a criteria that they need to be three to five years old. So something where the prayas 
shows was one of the criteria as well. Um, the jury, um, Manu Bhatnagarji mentioned that it was a very eminent jury. I have been asked to tell you how eminent that jury was, and I will read out the names of uh, the jury members. Professor Ramaswamy Ayer, Dr. Samar Singh, Sri Anupam Mishra, Dr. Amita Bhaviskar, Mr. Ravi Singh, and Dr. Kalyan Rudra. This was the jury that selected the awardees that you're going to hear about tonight. There were 23 nominations received, um, and the jury met on the 5th to decide the final uh, awardees. Uh, three awards are going to be given today, two to individuals and one to an organization. I'm going to end by reading out a quote from the jury, which pretty much summarizes the whole process, I think, very neatly. Now I have to put my glasses on, so excuse me. <laughs> the rest I didn't. Um, Bhagirath Prayasaman should not be merely a recognition of past work, but a motivation for continuing and future work. We took into account the nature, the length, and the persistence of the effort, the results achieved, and the impacts on society. Beyond this, it was a selection on merits. We considered each case and made a judgment. Those are the words of the jury, and I will end here and look forward to seeing who gets the awards. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Vora. I think the process is uh, very well explained, and I would now like to request guest of honor, Sri Anupam Mishraji, to give a special address. Thank you.